Hello everyone, welcome to the backyard and the great outdoors. What? Wait a minute, I'm sorry. I'm used to saying welcome to the backyard and cooking with Chef Raji and or intruder alert. Trident thinks there's somebody trying to get in. Hey, um, we're coming to you from indoors today. Our plans had gotten changed with uh, due to the weather and um, we're coming to you live from in our indoor kitchen with another episode of Backyard Cooking with Raji. Uh, our plans was to uh, do this presentation outside, but uh, it's been raining pretty much all day here at, uh, try. it's been raining pretty much all day here in Jackson off and on and the wind has been blowing pretty good so uh, tonight's show has got uh, fried or, or hot grease. So water and wind and hot grease, I didn't think that was a, a great. Um, hey, we got a we got a visitor there. Uh, hummingbird just went to our flyers. And, uh, but anyway, we moved our cooking indoors. Tonight we're doing a chicken po' boy sandwich, po' boy sandwich. Uh, with uh, fried bacon and Brussels sprouts for the sides. So we're going to do that indoors instead of under the uh, wooden spoon. Again, it's been uh, raining pretty much off and on. Hey, Coach Will, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Um, it's been raining pretty much all day. The wind has gotten up pretty good, and so... We're just going to get started on indoors. So what we're doing is, uh, again, I'm, we're doing the uh, fried bacon and Brussels sprouts along with a chicken po' boy. Now, you know, traditionally po' boys, um, I guess, supposed to have a remoulade sauce. And uh, so I really don't know what a remoulade sauce consists of. I don't even know how to spell it, much less. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, remoulade. But anyway, we made a little sauce uh, to go with our po' boy, uh, chicken po' boy, and it's it's got a little kick to it. And then uh, we also made some, uh, we also made a, a coleslaw that we did a little bit different to and we put that uh, remoulade in with the coleslaw. Uh, normally I would be getting ready to watch the Cardinals play but uh, due to another round of positive testing the uh, the game was canceled so you know this morning I woke up and, and I was sitting under the wooden spoon. I uh, woke up early which I normally do anyway but woke up early and was sitting under the wooden spoon it was just gently raining here in Jackson and you know the good Lord blessed us with a slow and gentle rain and I was excited about that just to sit under the wooden spoon and uh, to watch it rain and uh, we got to thinking about you know this is August 1st it's a new month uh, our, our hope and prayer is that it'll be a better month than the previous few months that we've been battling through all this stuff uh, it's still going on and you know so we thought the wife is uh, out of town she's supporting our grandson at the ball tournament that he's playing at and I didn't get a chance to, to do that but we got the house to ourselves or Triton and my, myself have and uh, so I thought we'd do a little celebrating tonight because uh, I think we're, we're, we're coming through a, we're coming up to a breakthrough here uh, it's got to break through one of these days, and, and, and things go back to getting better. So uh, we're kind of celebrating a little bit uh, on our own. No one here but Sir Triton and myself. Oh, and August 1st, that's a special day also, I think it is, um, for for a young lady that just, I think she's turning 19 today. If I, re if I read everything on Facebook today, hey, Gina, how you doing? Uh, Tracy, uh, Mallory Cartwright, 
Today is uh, Miss Mallory's birthday. I'd like to wish her a happy birthday. I, uh, uh, you know, every day is, is a good day, and when you have your 19th birthday, that's a special day. And Mal, I hope you're having a great day today. And uh, You know, I know it's rained here in Jackson. I don't know about if, if it rained on any of your plans there in uh, Dyersburg, but uh, hopefully you can still have a great day. And We're going to put this together, uh, this meal together tonight. Again, I thank everybody for joining us. Uh, we're going to do a <clears throat> fried bacon and Brussels sprout uh, side dish to go along with our uh, to go along with our chicken po' boy that we're going to make. I uh, went and got some fresh hoagie buns from the bakery. Uh, made that remoulade or whatever it's called. I made a, a, a salad to put with it. So once we get it all together there, then we're going to show you how we're going to plate it up with our fine china again. And uh, so what I've done here first, I don't know if I've been rambling on, but uh, I've, I've got about a half a pound of bacon that I have. Patrick Rogers, how you doing, my friend? Gwen, appreciate everybody joining us. We Again, we're coming to you live from the indoor kitchen because uh, uh, the rain and the wind and everything with the, the hot grease and the wind and water, I didn't think it was a, a safe bet for us to be under the wooden spoon. But I took about a half a pound of bacon uh, cut it up in bite-sized pieces, and I'm rendering it down uh, about three-fourths of the way. I like my bacon a little crispy, but I'm I'm going to take it out about three-fourths of the way finished uh, and leave that bacon grease in there so that I can put my Brussels sprouts and cook that uh, in there with with my Brussels sprouts uh, and give that some little extra flavor there. And then I got my grease hot over here uh, for the... Uh, and I'm putting my Brussels sprouts in there right now. You can hear it uh, going good. Got my wooden spoon here, so I'm going to get that a good stir. And uh, turn that temperature down just a little bit so that it don't cook real fast. Because I need to get this, uh, this chicken drop. And we're going to have a good time tonight. Hopefully you'll enjoy our show. Going to put a little bit of strawberry seasoning on it as well. Uh, while it's cooking in that bacon grease, we got everybody... Coated good and in the hot tub here with the bacon grease. And so I'm trying, just trying to get a, him a sneak of this bacon here. I'm going to give him a little piece of chicken that I fried up earlier just to make sure that uh, the grease was right. But uh, I do appreciate everybody joining us again, having a good time. Hopefully it'll be a good presentation for you. I don't know how much of it you can see, uh, but we'll show you how we got it plated up when we get ready. So I've got the uh, the bacon, bacon finished, got the Brussels sprouts in. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, work on this, work on frying the chicken for the uh, po' boy. Again, I talked to you about the remoulade uh, and I talked to you about the, uh, the coleslaw. Now the coleslaw, I like uh, tomatoes in my coleslaw. Uh, my wife's grandmother used to make her uh, coleslaw with uh, tomatoes, and, and I loved her coleslaw. Well, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Ma Glenn can cook, or used to cook, and, and I love everything that I ever tried from Ma Glenn's cooking. Uh, but she, she uh, I guess she was the one that actually turned me on to tomatoes in the coleslaw. And uh, of course she, you know, they raised tomatoes there in Ripley, and uh, rest her soul there. I, she sweet lady, and uh, she everything that she ever cooked that 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 I had tasted was awesome all the time. And uh, so yeah, I still do my my coleslaw with tomatoes. Uh, but today, when I made the coleslaw, just so it's because it's going on that po, po boy sandwich, the chicken po boy. I also added just a little bit of. Jalapeno. I'm not a big jalapeno person, but I do use it. Um, and then the remoulade, but then I added just a little bit. I diced up or, or sliced up a little bit of green apple. And I put it in there with the coleslaw. I'm telling you what, ladies and gentlemen, that's some good stuff. Uh, I used 
some of the cherry tomatoes off of my homegrown cherry tomato tree. I know you're saying it's not a tree, it's a plant, but mine is about six foot tall. So I'm considering that as a cherry tomato tree. It's been loaded with cherry tomatoes. Uh, it ain't no telling how many we've already gotten off of it. And, and, and my regular tomatoes, mm, we ain't got a whole bunch. They're not big in size, but they are good and tasty. Uh, but yeah, so I used my own uh, cherry tomatoes for the, for the uh, coleslaw. And uh, we're going to get started, excuse me, just a second while I get my, my chicken here. And get it ready to uh, to drop. <clears throat> now what I did is I got chicken tenders, and uh, you know that there's a little uh, piece in, in in the chicken tender that that's not always easy to get out. But folks, let me tell you, get you a pair of wire pliers, get a hold of it, get a get a um, fork, and run it down through there, and that thing comes right out. Uh, so what I did is I'm I, battered my, I created my, my wet batter with buttermilk. Um, I used about one and a half cups of buttermilk. I used about a tablespoon of baking powder. And then I gave it a little shake shake of some hot sauce, make, mix that up for my hot, uh, of my wet seasoning for that. I can't even talk. Um, but anyway, hey ho, Everybody, thanks for joining us. And then in the dry, I did uh, flour, cornmeal, smoked pap paprika. It's not easy to say either. Uh, now I use some Southwest seasoning that is just dynamite. It doesn't have any sugars in it. Um, I actually got it at uh, Home Goods, I think it was, in where it was we was at. And uh, and then a little cornstarch. I dipped it in the buttermilk drip, uh, dip first, put it over in the dry, uh, dry seasoning, got that all good and coated. Hope says, what are we making today? You know, that kind of reminds me of, remember the, uh, the old hee haw show that when Grandpa Jones was sitting there rubbing that window and they say, hey, Grandpa, what's for dinner? Okay, anyway, so to answer your question, Hope, we are doing a bacon fried Brussels sprout, which is the co-star, but the star is going to be a chicken po' boy sandwich. Po' boy, y'all remember that restaurant that came to Jackson, or that was in Jackson, called Po' Boys? Man, that was some good eating. I wish, I wish I had the money and the place to do that, open me a restaurant like that. But anyway, uh, I double dipped the batter. And uh, so I'm going to drop those in ever so gently into my cooker here. Uh, I got the I got the grease about 350, and so I'm going to drop about three or four of these in at a time, so they'll have time to float around, get in there, and get all crisped up. And that is four right there, I think. But uh, but yeah, Paul Boys Restaurant here in Jackson, I think it's right there off the interstate. Man, that was some that was some delicious eating there. And uh, no, he said what's for supper. Okay, supper, dinner, I guess that's a term that I you know everybody has their um their difference, I guess. I didn't know what he actually said. I knew he said something about what was for something. Um but it doesn't really matter if it's supper or dinner as long as you call me on time so that I can be there. Uh, so I got my chicken going, and again, I went to the to the deli today, and I got fresh deli-made hoagie buns that are, man, they're just, they're awesome. I can't wait to plate this all together. Uh, so now I'm going to add, now that I got my Brussels sprouts going back, going pretty good, um, I'm going to add my bacon back into the Brussels sprouts. I've got my heat turned down low, uh, very low, so that we don't burn anything, but that it still keeps on cooking. And um, get back, get back, get out of here. Here, go get that. Go out. Sir Triton wants to help me there, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh my goodness. These, ooh -wee, these are looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to see if I can give you a bird's eye view of this right here. There's my Brussels sprouts and bacon. Just kind of sitting there, just uh, getting united there together. Here we are back uh, live here. So I'm going to keep turning these. Uh, what, what I'm looking for is the internal temperature plus a really golden brown appearance for these um, tenderloins. And again, folks, you can do shrimp, you can do catfish, whatever you would like to do for your po' boy. Uh, I'm not a shrimp person. I'm not really a um, catfish per person per se. I can eat catfish at some time, but I would prefer um, chicken over either one of those. So um, when I was when I was sitting there under under the wooden spoon this morning, and the, and the good Lord provided us the the rain that we needed, uh, the physical rain that we needed uh, for my flowers and plants outside. I, I didn't have to water anything. Uh, and hoping, again, this is August 1st, hoping that, uh, you know, the the healing rain is coming. Uh, that the breakthrough is coming, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. um, good Lord can send the healing rain down and, and cause this COVID-19 and get that out of here. You know, uh, like I said, we're, we're kind of celebrating a new month tonight. And... Uh, Corona or COVID is not invited to this party that we're having tonight. And it's not really a party. It's just me and Triton, but um, I'm enjoying getting the opportunity to spend some time with him while my wife is enjoying a much-needed opportunity to <clears throat> catch her breath. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to look at this. I don't know how much of it you can see. You may can hear it. Look at that right there, ladies and gentlemen. How crispy brown that looks already. Ooh-wee! I can't wait to put this sandwich together. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I probably got enough for two or three sandwiches, so I wish there was a, I wish there was somebody close to me that, that could taste this and give me the real judgment of try to get out of here. Don't get your nose burnt, boy. Um, but give me the real, you know, because I can get kind of biased with my own cooking. Don't mean to, but uh, it just happens that way. This, this uh, Brussels sprouts and bacon, that's that's looking awesome right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give these just another couple of seconds, and these bad boys will probably be ready, and then I'll get the, the second batch going here. And, uh, again, I thank everybody. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank everybody for joining us. Uh, we, we do enjoy doing these presentations. Again, we I would like to have been uh, under the wooden spoon while we were doing it, but I just thought for safety purposes and with the rain and, and the wind that, that we've had here in Jackson today. Uh, yeah, Triton's already had a couple pieces of, of, of uh, chicken that I tested early, and I think he's given me the tail wag seal of approval I think I got about 15 tail wags out of it. Um, but yeah, we are uh, we're going to get ready to show you how, how we're going to do this uh, with this first batch. I don't want to keep you all night. I do. Hey, Johnny, how you doing, buddy? Uh, appreciate you joining us. Again, we want to uh, recognize our, our frontline heroes. They're, they're out there, our doctors and nurses and emergency techs and law enforcement. We, you know, we, we support you in every way. Uh, and we, we thank you for all you do. The truck drivers, the restaurant operators, everybody. I'm calling them heroes, uh, not just frontline operators or anything like that. Uh, we're, we're about ready to put this first po' boy sandwich together and show you how we're going to do this. Uh, again, this is something that you could do with shrimp. Uh, you could do with catfish. I guess, I don't know if you could do it with steak or not. Uh, I've never had a 
breaded steak other than like a chicken fried steak, which not bad, I, I guess, but, but um, I'm going to go ahead and dip these fellas out while they're floating here. I got a good brown texture on them. I don't know if I can show you this or not. See how brown and textured that is? Now some of these chicken tenders, it ain't going to take many to make that sandwich, even though that fresh bread that I went to the deli and bakery on and got, it's a pretty good size. Look at that one right there, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see that? That's, that's a, I may only get one or two on there on each sandwich, which I just make it go a little bit longer if I, if I only get one or two on there. But I'm going to drop another batch and then I'm going to show you how we're going to, I'm going to let these here cool for just a second before we start working with them because uh, them bad boys are, are hot, you know. And I'm going to step over here, wash my hands off just a second. Sorry about all the disappearance, but that's, it's all, the show is all about the food anyway. It's not about seeing me and, but, uh, I'm going to cut into one just to make sure that, oh yeah, baby, look at here. Can you see the inside of that? Look at there. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you the fact. It's going to be some good eating here tonight. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. You taste that cornmeal in there? Along with the flour, I mean, you can't taste the flour, but the cornmeal gives it that little crunch that you hear. Hey, Ronnie. Appreciate you joining me, buddy. We're doing indoor cooking tonight. Uh, with all the weather and rain and everything that we had, we're doing some bacon fried Brussels sprouts. And uh, we're doing a chicken po' boy. And uh, I've made some... Some sauce and remoulade, I think it's called. Uh, again, I don't know how to spell it. But let me let me show you what we're gonna do here, ladies and gentlemen. Got a fine china bowl out. Gonna get us a little bit of bacon and Brussels sprouts plated up there, just a little bit so we can can you see how that looks? All right, and then we're gonna. Add just a little bit of, hey, Kevin, how you doing, buddy? Can I add just a little bit of ranch dressing on top of that and give it a little extra something, something? You know, just so everybody can be happy there. So now, now what I want to show you is plating this po' boy here. Uh, I've, got, I've got the fresh bun here. I've got... I, I, I like this remoulade or whatever it is that I made. I actually made it from something that I made before and I just added a little bit more to it. It's got a little bit more kick to it tonight, but I'm just gonna spread just a little bit on the bottom first so that we have uh, some texture down there. And then this is the coleslaw that I made uh, with the tomatoes and jalapenos and it's got the remoulade in it. Um, put me is just a scoop of that right here on the bottom, right like that. Get a couple of cherry tomatoes in there. See that? All right, maybe you can. All right. So now that it, now that the, that that uh, coleslaw gives my my chicken a, a a nice soft bed for it to lay on. Now I'm going to lay these chicken tenders up there. I'm not going to be able to get that closed because uh, them two tenders are, are awesome. Then I'm going to put just a little bit more here on that coleslaw on top. Look there, ladies and gentlemen. Chicken, oh boy. I'm talking about homemade. And I don't know how in the world I'm going to get my mouth around that. But I'm going to try to back up just a little bit so I don't want to get everything on the camera. But I'm going to try to take a bite of this. Woohoo! Man. 
ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you. I am here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. I put some Franks. Woo, mercy. I feel like handsome Jimmy, baby. Woo! I'm talking about, I put some Franks hot sauce in there. In with that, uh, in with the barbecue, I mean, uh, with the buttermilk. And I put a little bit in with the coleslaw. Along with that apple, apple that I diced up. Man, I'm telling you, that almost makes you want to do the po' boy shuffle. But I don't know what that looks like. And I'm not trying to bore you with the po' boy shuffle. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, whoo, mercy. This is what I have prepared for us tonight. I sure wish there was... Hey, Coach Lee. Coach Lee is watching from all the way in South Carolina. Coach, we're making a uh, presentation tonight of fried bacon and Brussels sprouts for the side item and a chicken po' boy. <laughs> no, ma'am. I'm not going to do the shuffle tonight. Well, I don't know. I might just have to... Woo, that tasted pretty good, handsome baby. All right, sorry. Uh, but this is this is very easy to make. I can give the recipe uh, offline if anybody needs the recipe. It just fried that chicken up or shrimp or whatever you want. They fried it up good and crisp. That fresh bun, the remoulade that I made, it's got just, a, just enough kick in it. Um, to make you want to do that shuffle and uh, ladies and gentlemen that's our presentation again I want to thank everybody for joining hey Norman how you doing thank everybody for joining I really enjoyed putting these presentations together uh, I really enjoyed trying some of these things and tweaking the recipes and then uh, enjoying them uh, Looks like tonight it's just going to be me and Triton and join them. And I uh, wish my wife was here so that she could uh, get her one as well. But uh, she's she's there supporting our grandson uh, in his tournament. And uh, had a great day yesterday. Went three for three uh, at bats. A double and two singles and uh, two RBIs. His team ended up losing in... Uh, it, by the international tiebreaker there, but uh, it was a great game and they got to enjoy that. But this is a, uh, it's been a great time and I thank everybody for joining us. Uh, I'm gonna cook up the rest of these chicken tenders and then I'm gonna finish off that um, po' boy sandwich. Uh, this this video will, will be on our YouTube channel, Backyard Cooking with Rod G, even though we're indoors tonight because of the weather uh, I appreciate you joining us again we thank everybody uh, our, our, our frontline heroes thank you all for supporting us in, in what we're trying to do just have fun and enjoy some cooking trying different recipes and uh, we got we all got to keep living ladies and gentlemen we can't just uh, just crawl up in the shell we got to keep living our life and, and, and doing things that, that we know we can can do uh, safely. And, and again, our hope and prayer is that August will be a, a great month, a breakthrough month for everyone. Uh, I keep saying we're not in the same boat together because everybody's situation may be a little bit different, but we're in the same waters. And at some point, uh, we're going to find the end to this water to where it comes out at and where we can land safely on, on land. But I do appreciate everybody joining us. Uh, if, if you get a chance to, if you didn't get to watch all of it, then you can watch it on our YouTube channel or go back and, and watch the replay of this. And uh, until we get an opportunity to come to you again, uh, I want to say happy birthday once again to, to Mallory. But in, uh, until we get an opportunity to come again with another presentation, we ask that you keep the coals hot. Uh, try some of these recipes on your own outdoors or indoors. And uh, until the next time, until we meet again, I'll see you down the pole boy chicken trail. Thank you and have a good night.